Last week, the political elites in China had much to celebrate on. It was the 69th birthday of their leader, Xi Jinping. Beijing witnessed an air of gala, but then came a surprising phone call from Kremlin. Vladimir Putin was on the other side, and it was more than just a congratulatory phone call this time. The ensued events have left a stock reaction within the cadres of CCP. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Vedika. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI Global channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Xi Jinping celebrated his 69th birthday in Beijing. And the crux of it all was the phone call from Vladimir Putin. Putin followed it ritualistically to call Xi Jinping every 15 June to render a birthday wish. Back in 2019, the bonhomie touched newer heights when Putin presented his Chinese counterpart with a giant box of Russian-made ice cream as a birthday present in Tajikistan. Taking a ride from 2019 to 2022, much has changed. But Vladimir Putin has always upheld his courtesy with global leaders, no matter what war he was fighting. So, when the phone rang in Beijing, she was hoping for a genial talk with Vladimir Putin. But this time, the tone was a tad different from Kremlin. The two sides presented different interpretations of the same phone call. The Kremlin implied that Beijing supported Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, while Beijing's own statement treaded cautiously around the Ukraine issue. More than the difference in interpretations, Xi Jinping made a major move that silenced his coterie within the CCP. And it was the demotion of Li Yuqiang, the powerful second-in-command of the foreign ministry. Li Yuqiang is a career diplomat and an erudite when it comes to Russia. After studying Russian, Li was assigned to the Foreign Ministry Soviet and East European Affairs Department and served two stints at the Chinese Embassy in Russia. He also served as China's ambassador to India at a young age. Moreover, big talks were doing the rounds on Li Yuqiang being finalized as the top contender for the Foreign Minister post after Wang Yi steps out. But all hopes got dashed after it was announced that Li Yuqiang has been appointed deputy head of the National Radio and Television Administration and no longer serves as vice foreign minister. Having shown his mettle in the field of diplomacy over the years, the current move to a vice ministerial position as deputy head of a less prominent agency overseeing television and radio broadcasting is a disappointment to say the least. So what made she adopt such a decision and what imprints do Russia leave here? The inner circle within the Chinese government is passing through a convoluted phase when it comes to its relationship with Russia. Even having an erudite panel of Korea diplomats, China failed to read the Russian mind of invading Ukraine on February 24. Putin may have duped out China, but issuing a joint statement in Beijing before the Ukraine war, which now critics point down as China's tacit approval of the Ukraine war. Li Yuqiang had all the riches of a diplomat, and even with it, he failed when it came to simply predict Putin's mind on the war. China had a cozy relationship with Russia, but the sudden move from Putin on February 24 never passed through Xi Jinping's mind. This startled the sap out of China, who got pressured by the world powers to take an infinitive stand on the Ukraine war. In the UN voting, also China abstained which incensed an already irascible Vladimir Putin. It was a sure short vote gone in favor of Russia, much like Belarus not voting for Russia. China is passing through a strategic dilemma with Russia. The phone call from Putin beckons as a sign that there is going to be a major shift in the Chinese diplomacy with the Kremlin. It has now started with the demotion of Liu Chiang. Having once served as deputy director of the Secretariat of the Party's Central Commission for Foreign Affairs, Li had been seen as someone who is close to Xi. Taking Li out from a field of his expertise, Putin is diving headlong into affairs within CCP and Beijing may soon espouse a pro-Russia stance without any second thoughts.